difference between viral and bacterial tonsillitis. Tonsils are lymphoid tissue. There is a ring of such tissue around the throat. They are called the Waldier's tonsillar ring. It includes two tonsils at the back of the throat, pharyngeal tonsils, two tonsils on either side of the root of the tongue, lingual tonsils, two tonsils on either sides of the oropharynx behind the uvula, palatine tonsils, and two tonsils on the roof of the pharynx, tubal tonsils. People usually refer to the two palatine tonsils as tonsils. Tonsillitis is usually the inflammation of the two palatine tonsils. It presents as nasal speech, sore throat, painful swallowing and enlarged lymph node just below the angle of the jaw. On examination, reddened, swollen palatine tonsils are visible. There may be pus formation. If untreated, it can lead to peritonsillar abscess due to spread of infection into the deep tissue around the palatine tonsils. When palatine tonsils are inflamed and enlarged, they do not obstruct the airway but, in children, because the eustachian tube is more horizontal, middle ear infections can accompany tonsillitis. Commonly tonsillitis is viral, but it also can be bacterial. Adenovirus, Streptococcus, Staphylococcus, Haemophilus and well-known culprits. Drinking warm water, steam inhalation and antibiotics can effectively cure tonsillitis, but it can recur. When cellular debris accumulates inside a tonsillar crypt, a small stone forms. This is called a tonsillolith. This presents as tonsillitis, bad breath, or tonsillar abscess. These stones mainly contain calcium salts. These can be removed under direct vision in the doctor's office.